Good morning guys, you join me at Catering once more because I am having another model. I've had the 160S, I've had the 270S, in fact the 270S I had is actually over here. So sorry guys, it is rather windy. So I've returned to my right, there we are, that's one I had last time. This time however, I've got something a bit more hardcore, I've got the 360R. So, let's talk you through some figures. So, underneath the bonnet, let's take you around the car, shall we? I'm sure you'd rather look at that than my face. Right, okay, here we go. Apologies for the focus. Focus on this camera is awful, as you probably know by now. There we go. Right, so let's talk you through some figures. So, underneath that long bonnet, you've got a two litre Ford Duratec engine, which produces 180 horsepower with 194 newton meters of torque. It will hit 60 in just 4.8 seconds. Let me say that again, 4.8 seconds. That's rather brisk. And the top speed is 130 miles per hour. Now this is for our pack. So let me talk you through what, it, what you get with it quite briefly. Um, so I'm in a bit of a rush because I need to get to work. But you've got the adjustable suspension down there. Let me get the focus right. There we are, I've got the Bilstein shocks there. If I take you inside the cabin, I will talk you through what's in there as well. Right, open the door like so. Just gonna knock my GoPro. So you get carbon fiber in here, which looks very nice. You also get carbon fiber there as well. Ooh, very pretty indeed. Get a small steering wheel like you would in any other catering model, but as you've probably seen by now, there we are, get the focus right you have got race seats so there's barely any padding on them whatsoever and you've also probably clocked the four point harnesses so yes this car is very much designed for track use you've got a light and flywheel as well to improve performance and I have to say it does look very race orientated to say the least so anyway guys I'm gonna jump in I'm gonna give you my first impressions I've also got my wife with me Patsy She's really looking forward to getting into the car as well. So yeah, like I said, I'm a bit short. Of, uh, a bit, I'm a bit short on time today. So apologies if it seems a little bit rushed. Oh, there goes the door. As I said, it's a bit windy today. So apologies if it seems a little bit rushed. But I just wanted to film my initial impressions of picking the car up and yeah, just taking you along for the ride with me. So. Well, after what feels like the most stressful experience ever. Um, because, oh, just too many things. Right, we are ready to go, so. It's a bit fruity, isn't it? Right. As you can see, it's a very snug cabin. Have you popped your door pops on? Yeah. But, oh, I, but I don't know whether I've looked for say out and the key's in my pocket. You're going to have to look after the keys. There's no way in hell I'm going to, I'm going to be able to get back, back again. Right. Oh. Oh. Ooh. That noise sounds familiar. Yeah, but the indicator sound is loud in this one, which is good. Does it feel like your hips have been crushed? Well, don't forget for, for the 270S I had last time, that was a wider um, chassis, so that was an SV, this is an S3, so this is very much what, this is what a uh, traditional Caterham should be like. Snug. Okay, I'm not the biggest person going, but anyone I would say who's bigger than me, so like a size, what, 14, 16? Oh, a bit jerky. I'm, I'm, I'm going to fit in this. Oh. Oh. That was barely any revs at all. Now, I'm hoping you guys can hear me because it is quite noisy in here. 
Um, I've left the roof up, so hopefully it'll be better in regards to noise. And also, it looks all oh, pigeon almost here, son. And the weather looks like it, it, you know, it looks like it might rain today. So that's another reason why I've kept the roof up. Now I have got a clip on my con, so hopefully that will improve things. But now, unfortunately, I did have some technical difficulties with the microphone, so the audio you're hearing is coming from the GoPro. Hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. I do apologize. I don't know what happened that morning, but a lot of my equipment was giving me some jip. Uh, my GoPro wasn't working, and the SD cards were giving me hassle. So I'm ever so sorry, guys. It was just one of those mornings. Just what you need when you're picking a car up in a rush. Now, sadly, most of the journey back is gonna be on the motorway. It's gonna be rather boring, but I wanted to bring you, bring you guys along just to let you know what the, you know, what my first impressions are of the car. Pat's impressions as well. This has got a limited slip diff, whereas the S model or the standard 360 wouldn't have this. So again, it's designed from a track. Right, let's open it up. Oh. My word, that is noisy. So, so noisy. Snicks into action very nicely. I do need to be a little bit firm with the gear change, but it's very slick and precise nonetheless, as you would expect from a car like this. 
I really like the gear knob as well for how it's black and it's got the R embossed in red. That's very nice. I really like that touch. And it comes with an appointment for the chiropractor. <laughs> it's nice to be able to talk and not have to shout. Because I must admit, my, uh, my throat and my mouth are getting rather dry. Oh, here comes the noise. <laughs> Now this is one area where the catering isn't so much fun. Traffic. The last thing I want to be doing is stop start traffic in this car. That really isn't my idea of fun. Now a few weeks ago uh, I did a video, could you daily uh, a Caterham 270S? And I think that you definitely could. Where's this? No. I don't think I'd want to daily this, daily this kind of want to stay. Yes, I know it's, a, it's designed more for track usage than road usage, but of course you can use it on the road. But, oh, I don't know. As fantastic as this car is to drive on first impressions, I must admit, I've been in the car for about 40 minutes, give or take. I was just looking at the recording time on the GoPro. We've been in the car for about 40 minutes, uh, I would say, and um, yeah, my arse is numb. I'm extremely uncomfortable. Can you not move your seat back? I don't know. It's not that, it's my hips. Now, at this point, I was hoping to take Patsy on a more extended and more scenic drive in the catering, but she was that uncomfortable, I had no choice but to take her straight home, sadly. Right, so apologies, guys. Um, Patsy became so uncomfortable that I kind of had to rush her home. Um, poor thing. Um, yeah, like I said earlier, it is quite snug in here. Anyway, a full review will be coming. I'm also gonna meet up with, uh, with another YouTuber called Pocket Rockets uh, to get his impressions of the car as well. But until then, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe for more car obsession.